Hi everyone, welcome to the Imaging Study YouTube channel. Today we are going to look for a case of molar pregnancy. Young female patient came to the emergency department with a history of amenorrhea for 4 months. She also had small PV bleeding for several days. Her urine for pregnancy test came positive. On ultrasound, uterus appears bulky. Center of the uterus shows ecogenic mass-like area with internal diffuse cystic change forming honeycomb or snowstorm appearance which is typical for molar pregnancy. This is the picture of the uterus in longitudinal and transverse sections. Urinary bladder is partially filled as the patient was sent from the emergency department for rapid apneon. This central heterogeneous leukogenic area is the molar tissue. Let's check separately. This is the longitudinal section. Check the ecogenic central uterine mass with internal diffuse cystic areas. On transverse section, the image quality may not look good due to lack of urinary blood preparation. Now let's check on real time. This is the longitudinal cut. This is the transverse cut. You can see the partially filled bladder. No definite fetal pole is seen. Molar tissue has completely filled the uterine cavity. Diffuse cystic areas, that is the snowstorm or honeycomb appearance on transabdominal scan can be well visualized if you magnify the image using the zoom button. This helps a lot, especially when the patients come without proper preparation. Color Doppler can play an important role in exclusion of arteriovenous malformation which may cause excessive bleeding during evacuation. It also helps exclude myometrial extension of molar tissue. Here we don't see any excess of vascularity, which is a good point. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.